Uh, President Marcos will travel to Washington, D.C. from 30 April to 4 May 2023 on an official visit aimed at reaffirming the special relationship between the Philippines and the United States. As mentioned, the, the President's itinerary will begin on May 1 with a meeting with U.S. President John Biden, Joe Biden, followed by an expanded meeting with key cabinet officials. The visit will reaffirm the bonds of friendship that give definition and significance to the many facets of the bilateral relationship, underpinned by the close affinity shared with the Filip Filipinos and Americans alike for many years. It will substantially progress efforts to further deepen relations and political ties, to bring about lasting socioeconomic partnerships, as well as enhance defense and security cooperation. The President is expected to advance Philippine socioeconomic development priorities and harness closer partnerships in such areas as agriculture, energy, climate change, digital transformation and technology, humanitarian assistance, disaster relief, supply chains, and infrastructure. The U.S. is a major bilateral trade and official development assistance partner and maintains a shared commitment with the Philippines for more dynamic economic relations. Other scheduled activities of the President will include meetings with legislators, major U.S. companies, and business organizations, and he will also deliver a major policy speech in a, in a think tank in Washington, D.C. While in, in Washington, he's also, he will also meet with members of the Filipino community who represent uh, the Philippine-American diaspora in the United States, numbering some 4.4 4, uh, 4 million. Aside from these issues, ano pa po yung magiging focus ng discussion ni President Marcos with uh, President Joe Biden? Are they going to discuss issues about EDCA, security, and China? Uh, discussions on security and defense uh, is a given. Uh, it's something that will actually be raised. But I think for this trip, there will be a heavy en emphasis in terms of the economic agenda how the president will actually work to advance his uh, priorities in terms of agriculture and food security, in terms of infrastructure development, in terms of renewable energy and clean energy. So these are some of the sectors that will actually be highlighted during, during the, uh, the visit itself. As I mentioned, there will be uh, several activities during the visit uh, of the president. He will have his official meetings on, uh, uh, across uh, the, the, the duration of his trip, but when, with, when it comes to the pri uh, President Biden, it will be on May 1. Uh, he will also have expand, an expanded bilateral. He will meet with different uh, companies um, uh, and where he will actually uh, be able to promote the Philippines, uh, both as a tra trade trading partner as, as, as well as an as investment uh, market. So. Um, there, there will be a lot of opportunities during the time that the president is in Washington, D.C., and I think uh, he will cover various aspects of the relations. It's not just defense and security. It will also be economic um, uh, promotion of economic interests and the like. I think what will be underscored also is that uh, while uh, defense and security is actually very important, um, economic security is also uh, equally important. Uh, because if you if you have economic security, that will also promote uh, 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 political security and vice versa. So this I, this nexus, I think, is what will also be underscored during the visit. Now, uh, Maricel, what I do know is there will be a joint statement uh, that will be released, um, and be between the two leaders, uh, leaders' joint statement, the. Um, st um, U.S. will also come up with a fact sheet on, on the bilateral relations. There may be one or two other doc, uh, documents, but uh, right now I, I, I am not at liberty to talk about uh, these.